Hey everyone, welcome to the Pawn Shopping Network. I'm Ethan, I'm on the other side of the camera today, and this is our eighth episode. Today from the Jewelers Vault, we got some beautiful jewelry, including an antique princess ring and a blue topaz ring. Next on the Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray, it's all about toys and trains. And last but not least, on Sound Shopping, we have a wild electric five-string violin and some Rolling Stones vinyl records. Stay tuned for episode eight of the Pawn Shopping Network. I'm Kenny Barnes, and I'm a pawnbroker. My family and I have been doing brick and mortar stores for 29 years. We've got 10 of them across the Carolinas. Ever since we opened our first store in 1989, we've been battling the reputation of one of the world's oldest industries. I believe every American ought to have access to a pawnbroker they can trust. So, we created the Pawn Shopping Network, our new online store and live TV show. We want to change your mind about pawnbrokers, one transaction at a time. Our crew's here to help you, so now let's go pawn shopping. Hello, y'all. Welcome to the Jewelers Vault right here on Pawn Shopping Network. Hey, everybody. I'm Alma, and you all know this is... Chad the Jeweler. Chad the Jeweler. Hope y'all have uh, joined in before and you know mm -hmm. what to expect this hour. If you haven't, we have um, 10 items right now. Actually, we have five items to five show minutes. you right now. And a little later, we'll be back with five more jewelry items. We have a couple other shows throughout the hour. Mm -hmm. We have Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray with some awesome collectibles mm -hmm. and then sound shopping with Gray and myself and with some really neat music items. So mm -hmm. y'all stay tuned and see what we might have for you. Got some good items. Let's get started. All right, our first one today is a really nice looking blue topaz. Folks, I'll let Alma have this because me being a jeweler, my fingers are always dirty. Can't help it. I wash them, but that's just how it this is. This is a really big size, yeah. too, so I'm going to put it on a Right now, here. of course, we get things like we get them. They're already sized to what they are, and then we just adjust them when somebody needs it. Right now, this is a size 11. So you've got an oval blue topaz, and this one right here is the London blue, which is more of that turquoise blue. And it's just, it's in 14 karat. It's a beautiful ring. You can see it's got that nice, rich, darker, turquoisey blue to it. London blue yeah, is what I they call it. Yeah, I think I like that. the London blue. That's yep. really pretty. It's in yellow gold. It's a good looking ring. It's got kind of a little, uh, the old rings they call it shrimp designs, kind of like the little ridges, but look, you can kind of make up a name yourself, I guess, <laughs> if you that's want to right. rename it. But anyway, it's $259.95 and that's a good deal. That is a pretty ring, y'all. Mm -hmm. I love that blue. Um, you know, we just had Mother's Day, so we can't say that, but you could buy it for your mama still. It's a got, nice summer color, too. Yeah, it's beautiful. Graduation's coming up. Mm -hmm. If you have that special graduate graduating, and you know they love blue topazes, and this could be a ring for them. Great price there, $259.95, item 4183. Y'all give us a call if this is something you're interested in. You can call us. The number's on the bottom of your screen there, 844-641-PAWN. You can mm -hmm. also um, hop over to our website, pawnsouth.com, and you can click on Shop. It'll take you right to um, the Pawn Shopping Network website where you can choose whatever category you want to shop in. You can search for the item by the item number. You can search for mm -hmm. a ring. You can search for a blue topaz. You can search for a diamond. You can search for whatever you're looking for, and the items will come up there for you. Also, if you're in a position where you can't call and talk and you want to call and talk, or you can text us at the bottom of your screen. If you're on your tablet or your phone, you'll see a little text box. I think it also shows on your laptop. Just click on that, and you'll be texting right with one of our pawnbrokers. Now, it's a size 11. That's not going to fit a lot of people, but if you need it sized, we do that right here. It's going to come to you in a nice box, sized, ready to go. you got 30 days to decide if you loved it or not, and then you can send it right back to us. Now, how much could you size that down? I can size whatever. Okay, so we can size that to fit you, so there you go. Yeah. All right, Whatever Sean. you need on that one. Let's go on to our second item today. This got is a, nice, a pretty ring, too. Yeah, nice white gold diamond band. A lot of... Um, quarter carat. It looks it looks a lot bigger than that, but they're little what they call a micro pave, which is just very smaller, you know, very small diamonds that kind of fan across the top of it right there. It's a beautiful ring though, it's in 10 karat white gold. $199.95. And right now it's a size 10. Um, I can size it down a little bit, but I can't go too far. Like I could probably get it down to a size eight and I can size it up. But it makes it makes a nice band too. Um, I've seen men who wear it. It's, it's a little too feminine for me to wear, I think. I think it's pretty for um, a man or a woman. I, I like but it. But that's up to you. That's your, yeah. that's your choice there. 
um, it's sized for a man size right now as far as a 10 goes and um, it's got a lot going on to it too for $199.95. It's, it's a good looking ring for the price. I mean it really does sparkle in the light. Mm -hmm. Of course we have a lot of lights here in the studio so there's a, mm -hmm. a lot of lights above it um, but it really is showing you the sparkle there. And you know we do have the picture up there in the corner of the screen and again if this is an item that you're interested in, as with any of our items you can pull it up on the website and we'll have a gallery of photos. So several mm -hmm. other photos that you can look at from different angles. Um, with all of our jewelry, we, with our rings we have videos so it'll have like a rotating picture of that ring so you can see the setting and see a lot more details of it and you can also take your mouse and go over the picture and it'll magnify wherever mm -hmm. you're at on the picture so you can see every detail of that item it's in 10 carats white gold quarter carat total weight all right there we go that's item number two we're moving right along right. let's go to our third one today yeah this is a nice morganite ring yes. and if if i understand uh, morganite comes from a mine in north carolina oh cool yeah so it's it's pretty nice it's good looking morganville color. maybe morgan morganville. not <laughs> morgantown morganville something like morgan it. it's morgan something <laughs> it's morgan something but anyway it's morganite it's in 14 karat yellow gold size six and a half 249.95 and it's got, it's got like a pinkish rose color to it yeah it looks like a flower yeah. almost in the setting that it's in mm -hmm. kind of pretty now, pretty setting is that kind of a a vintage look setting or is it, that something it, it is kind of a, I mean it's not an old setting but it looks like it is it's, it's kind of neat it is unique and you know, you know we mentioned the word unique and we're looking at this ring and you know we're here to tell you that the items that we bring to you these are items that we've gone out into the mm -hmm. 10 stores that we have here in North and South Carolina and we've chosen some of the most unique items the most desirable items that we think you the viewers would want and that the public would want so um, these are one and one only when you see these rings come up and you see any of these items come up we only have one of each of these y'all so yeah see if you can hold it to the side a little okay. bit so you can kind of see the side Ooh. side profile of it, which there you can see, it's, it's just different. It's kind of a tall setting, which is really nice. You can see, got a little design work on the sides. It's a good looking ring. It is a nice looking. Fourteen ring. karat yellow gold, and two forty nine ninety five. It's a size six and a half, and that's one of those rings that I can size to whatever you need. Pretty ring, pretty mm -hmm. nice ring. All right. So there you go. Give us a call eight four four six four one pawn if that's you. That is a nice ring. That's a good price too. Speaking of vintage stuff, if you have some older vintage rings, antique rings, whether they're missing a few stones or not, we want to buy those from you too. And they come from your grandmother. Give us a story on them if you can. Absolutely, Tell us where yeah. they come from. Absolutely. We're suckers for that story. Now I like to hear mm -hmm. where things come from. I like to hear a little bit of a, a nice story behind it. And it helps us pass it on to the next customer yes. too. So, all right. All right. Our next item is a pretty ring too. Of course, you hear me say they're all pretty. Rubies and diamonds. We huh? do pick out some of the nicer stuff out of, the, out of the stores and bring it in here to sell. This one right here, you've got uh, six marquee-shaped rubies and then diamonds running down. This kind of a little swirl right there. It's really pretty. Quarter carat total weight, yellow gold, $429.95. The rubies are very pretty and red. You've got this diamonds kind of sprayed all over it there. And then you notice it's got channels set right down the middle and a nice little swoosh going on there. That's a really neat, that's a very unique looking design. Mm -hmm. It's a size seven and a half now. This one here I can size down probably as far as a five and on up to whatever you need it to be. And you can tell this, the rubies are nice. And oh, they are pretty. Yeah. All the, all There's the, a lot of detail to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything's sparkling and looking good in that one. That's very pretty. I like it. There we go. 14 karat gold, y'all. If it's white gold, you'd be all over it, right? I would. I like the white gold. You know, white gold and platinum. She'd, she would add it to her list. Yeah, I have a long growing list of the jewelry that I want since I've been uh, doing the show here with y'all, mm -hmm. as well as musical items and even some collectibles that I want. So um, hopefully they won't all get gone. But we want y'all to give us a call if this is something you want, 844-641-PON, um, or shop our website. Give us a shout out too. Like yeah. us and share us on Facebook. If We're, you're watching on Facebook, I'm looking right now and I see... Um, I see a few people watching. Wow, i got quite a few people watching, so I'm going to send a shout out to all y'all. You hey, know everybody. who you are. You're my friends. And I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. If you don't mind, share this on your Facebook page so mm -hmm. we can um, get more people to see what we have to offer. Hopefully, you know, we want, it, we want this to be able to see, be seen nationwide. So mm -hmm. share it on your Facebook page. Invite some people to like it. And uh, let's just see what we can do. We might just have that one item somebody's looking for. That's right. It could be right here. This is our last one. Last item here. Pretty turquoise ring. I like turquoise. Mm -hmm. This one here, the shades of turquoise are just a little bit different as far as you can see in the picture. You got one a little more blue, one a little more green, which kind of makes it unique, I think. Quarter carat and um, diamond weight, 
So there's a little bit of diamonds on there too. As you can see there, it's, it's really pretty. 14 karat yellow gold, 259.95, and it's pretty low profile, so it's not going to be anything that sticks up in the air a whole lot. You know, I wasn't sure, Chad, when I first saw this ring, I wasn't sure if I liked it, but now seeing it in the light and mm -hmm. on my finger, I kind of like the two yep. different shades there. That is kind of, like you said, it makes it uh, unique. Well, it's hard to get two separate pieces of stone unless they take a bigger stone and cut it into the shapes to, to match. Yeah. So, you know, here's two different really pieces cool. of turquoise yeah. out of two different turquoise yeah. stones, it looks basically, very nice, though. and cut it. Two fifty nine ninety five, and then it's a size... Um, let me see here. It's a size eight and a half now, and I'm sure that'll fit a lot of people. And, um, the diamonds look pretty in it, right. so it's, it's a good ring. All right, y'all. There we go. That's our last item for this first episode of the Jewelers Vault today. Mm -hmm. We hope y'all might have seen something you like. Give us a call. We've got um, pawnbrokers standing by right now. If you give us a call, mm -hmm. you'll be speaking to an actual pawnbroker, not an operator. They can answer any questions you have. So give us a call mm -hmm. and let us know you're watching by giving us a thumbs up on Facebook. And mm -hmm. um, for now, we're going to go, but we'll be back towards the end of the show. So get ready for Grandma's Buffet. David and Gray coming up next. Y'all stay right. tuned. We'll see you soon. Hey Facebook, it's Josh here from Pond South Carolina Beach Road. Check out a special item we've marked down from the shop every single day with our deal of the day. Also, did you know we specialize in buying and doing loans on luxury watches? Stop by the shop and see what we can do for you today. Hey guys, you might be asking yourself, is this for real? Well, the answer is yes. This is a live pawn shop show called Pawn Shopping Network. Now you can buy from us live, call in, talk to a live pawn broker, or you can sell to us. So give us a call. There we are. Gee, there we are. We're again. back. Grandma's buffet with David, David and Gray. And I'm we got David. Toys. This is Gray. Here yeah, we're gonna play a little bit today, guys. We got some neat stuff today, but I want to let you in on the next show we're gonna have because it's gonna be fun. All if aboard. any of you out there are train collectors, that's right. Whoop, whoop. Model train collector, don't go anywhere. Okay, hang around till the next show comes on in about. 20 minutes? Yeah, well, David, don't because let the cat out of the bag. Because we got something for you. Though. Well, you wanna, we, we don't want them to leave us Those to go to the bathroom or anything. But a lot of train stuff coming up. But a lot of little toys here today. We this got them. all right. Some of this stuff looks as old as us. And for those of you just tuning in with us, it's Pawn Shopping Network. We're going to be right. here Easy. every Wednesday at 12 noon. And David and Gray here do the collectibles for us, and we've got some nice stuff. We're going to get started. Let's go pawn shopping, Let's David. go pawn shopping, Gray. Show them that... Uh, picture of that thing and I'm gonna unbox it here for us. Like David said, y'all the box is in real good shape, but the plane in it. I mean a nice it's, little uh, plane. But David basically brand new Texaco? Basically brand new. brand new. Let me see I can get, get a good shot of the box on here with thing. Mr. Ethan on there on our camera too just to show you the box. Somebody took care of this. There it is yes, right sir. there. I'm gonna get us some information right here on it. Wings Gray. of the Texaco. David, 1930 Travel Air mm. Model R Mystery Ship. Uh, very popular plane. Look at the detail, David, on the plane. The landing gear with the tires and a beautiful color, of course, with the red. Great. It's the Mystery Let me get Ship that right there. Model R. It's, uh, it it's number in, five in the series. That's actually made by the Ertel Company. Everybody mm. knows the Ertel diecast E. R Y T L R. Good, good camera work by Mr. Ethan there. Texaco number 13. But guys, this thing does have a little bit of weight to it. I like to say that. Look at there. Propeller works. Everything, David. Yes, sir. Like everything else, guys, it's also guaranteed Turn to be what we. Yes, sir. There's another shot of it. What we portray it to be. If you're not satisfied when you get this item and it's not what you thought it was when you saw it on here. You're welcome to send it back within 30 days. Right. Well, David, the um, price on 19.95 and 48.43 is our item number. Just a nice little item. Like I said in the box, but nice item. Yeah, highly detailed, and it's also got one of those things that we talk about here. What are those things? Certificate of authenticity. Authenticity. I'll help you out with it. <laughs> You it does good. have a certificate of authenticity, guys, for 1930 Travel Air Model R Mystery Ship. Mm -hmm. We have that, and. Uh, 
It's actually a coin bank also. It won't hold a lot of money. Not a lot, but David, that's but, why I saw uh, that. It's a beautiful item to display and... and uh, Let me fly that over to you, buddy. Look at there. There you go. If you're into there. airplanes at all, guys, be something nice to put on your desk. You can fit that over or your, uh, your curio cabinet. Right. Whatever. Be a great item for that. But 1995, Dave, we want people to give us a call. one 844 pond Give us a little shout out on that. Give us a call. See what they'll take for it. That's right. Give us a call, guys, and you're going to talk to a pawnbroker. And today you might even get Mr. Kenny Barnes That's on right. the line. Next is uh, old Smokey Joe. Smokey Joe, David. Let's get us a little shot on camera, too, with that yeah. one, too. Let me hold that. I'll drive that right is a, over here. Actually, a Japanese made toy, guys, and it's oh, battery nice. operated, and this guy actually blows smoke for you. He <laughs> rides around that, in his car and smokes for you. I don't know if that's a. Uh, I don't know what brand of tobacco he uses, so we're not getting into anything now, get us there, in David. trouble. I tell you, Ethan did good on that. $69.95, David, on old Smokey Joe, but yeah. a lot of detail there. It does roll, but he, like David said, he does have the little pipe there. You can probably make that out. It is in great condition yeah. to be out of the box. We sure, do not have yeah. the box for old Smokey, guys, but he's ready to go. Yes. Dave, like he's on a little Sunday stroll with the little back seat there, the rumble seats, and you could ride around on Sunday cruise, but he's dressed up, David, got a hat and everything. And he sure is, he's ready smoke. to go. Smokey Bill car, but nice little item, 48 dollars 69 here on PSN. Nice item. Nice item, Smokey Joe. Yeah, but sixty nine ninety five, David. There you go, drive that over You got your license? Yes, for Smokey Joe here. Guys, that is really a neat looking little toy though for you that, you know, collect stuff like this. Price is right anyway, $69.95 for old Smokey, that's not too bad. Well, David, we've stressed that too. Guys, give us a call, make us an offer on that. See what they take, they want to do that, is what the boss man said, David. That's right. You know, call in, say, will you take this? Dave, we're also unique here on PSN. We would buy your stuff. If that's you right. had give some stuff call. like this sitting around, if you've got somebody may want it. And also give us a call. If we are describing something here and you know something about some of these items we have, give us a call. Tell us what we got. That's right. We're not experts on all this stuff. We try to research it to give you an idea of what we have. But if you know more than we do about it, give us a call and let us know what's going on. Well, David, they may have had old Smokey Joe or a Texaco mm -hmm. number 13 airplane. Right. Give us a call. Just talk the toy to Toy collectors. Them, we're, we're interested in talking to toy collectors or, you know, anyone That's that right. collects old memorabilia. Number three, we're going to have another airplane. That's right. Another Texaco airplane, guys. We don't have the box for this one. She's pretty much flying on her own, doesn't have a hanger. Well, David, that's anyway, a double decker, if you notice. It's that's got right. the two. By wing, on that. Texaco right. number 14. And uh, let's get a little close up of that because it's in great shape not yep. to have the box. Been well, taken very good care David, of. David, also another piggy bank. That is. But it ain't a piggy bank, it's an airplane It's bank. an airplane bank, <laughs> not a piggy bank. Another good shot there. But it's the That's Wings of Texaco. That's actually a 1931 Spearman 4D biplane. Uh, this was number three in the series of the Texaco planes. As we said a while ago, the Wings of America plane was number five. This was actually the third in that series and uh, scaled to a 143 scale replica highly detailed but we have no box for that one guys right. 1495 we'll wrap it up very nicely so it doesn't get damaged we'll send it to you matter of fact it, you know you order these things today guys we'll try to get them out to you today that's right these are ship free david 1495 so that's shipping and everything 4844 for the airplane bank but yeah. we'll get it out and like david said but make us an offer on it Call us, one eight six one eight four four six four one pond We're glad to talk to you. That's right. And also, there, you can go to our off. website. You know, after these things leave here, guys, they go to our website at pondsouth.com. A lot of items on there for you. And right now, if you go there, I think you'll see a little little text box in the bottom where you can actually text our guys back here and Click talk Click on to that them. and chat with them, but we want that. We want That's the interaction. That's what I was thinking, a chat box. Yeah, I they got you, chat. buddy. That's why they hired me to help you. That's right. He's the technical guy. Whatever. I'm the, what am I? <laughs> You're the beauty queen. There you go. Here we go. I've been one of those one time before. Right. Well, I guys, didn't like if it, it don't well. sell, we're going to have these items on PondSouth.com. We're building up an inventory, so check that out. If you missed the live show or miss us on Spectrum, David, on 1312 for Brunswick County, Columbus County on Spectrum. I saw that, big boy. 
Hello, is pick anybody it up, home? Pick it up over there. Look at this thing. Yeah, David's showing you. It comes right off. Stick this one to your ears. Now, you listen you with that, that and speak into that, David. Okay. I remember Barney Fife had one of these on the Andy Griffith yeah. show, didn't he? Well, don't forget the Clampets would use one. It was his name store. That's Let right. Me give a shot of that on there, camera, Yeah, we need too. a close-up of that because that's a unique piece. A lot of detail there. You put your messages in here. Guys, to go through that one real quick, we're going to tell you about it. We don't know a lot, but it's a, a, a vintage toy. You can tell by the uh, the age of it. It shows its age, but it's in good shape. It was made by Gong Bell Toys. It's what they called the country western wall phone. Mm -hmm. So as I say, this is something that uh, was used back in the early days of the telephone, and you'd crank it up so it heat up the lines, I guess, so you could talk. Well, you'd also, the bells would ring and it would tell the operator, hey, somebody's trying to somebody's make a call. Somebody's trying to call me. But you were sending the message. And like David said, this is what you listened to. This is what you spoke into. Had a little place here for your messages. But David, a nice little item. 48415995. And our last item, guys, we've got one more here to show you before we run out of time. And it's going to be something that uh, is going to take a... A guy that's got a lot of time on his hands. A lot of pieces, David. A lot of pieces, a lot of time. Let me give you a little description of it. It's a Alfa Romeo model car kit, Spider Touring Sport, or Grand Sport. Give him a shot of that, Dave. Wait yeah, tip it up there where they can see it, and then we're going we're gonna to actually open this thing yeah. up, guys. For those of you that have never seen one of these, uh, these kits, it's very detailed, down to the nuts and bolts. Uh, I don't know how many pieces are in this thing, Maybe but we're going to show you. I'm going to get a couple of them out here. Get that Let's right open there. the box over on camera, too. Where it, hand me the lid, and we'll Put just take there. this over there where they Plenty can see of pieces, it. pieces, stuff everywhere. But look at there, guys. Like I said, a little bit of everything. I'm going to give you that, David. We almost got more stuff than we got room. Nuts and bolts. That's and right. Can you get this get on that. camera, too, Ethan? And look inside. But there's all the fenders, guys, the pieces still in the wrap, but a lot of stuff. Here's the pieces. We've got the transmission. You've got everything. There's your radiator, but everything is still in the plastic. Never been taken out of plastic, yeah. guys. There's metal pieces in here, yeah, nuts, frame. bolts, screws, very small little That's pins. Right. $299.95, 48 42 David, for Alpha all Romeo. that. Dave, there is the transmission. How kit. about that? There, it's even in there in the differential. You got to put it together though, and you probably got to put the inside gearbox. That's together. right. You better have some time with that. Dave. For those of you that know about these things, guys, we'll ship it to you today. Forty-eight forty-two is our number. That's right. And it's two ninety-nine ninety-five for the Alfa Romeo. And this is David and Gray at Grandma's Buffet, and we're going to call it a day for this show. But remember, if you're in the model trains, come back and see us. We got something special for you on our next show. Oh, yeah, always. We'll see you in about 10 minutes, Greg. Thank you so much. Bye, y'all. Hello, everyone. This is Dale with Pond South of Hope Mills. I come to you today as the Dale King of Hope Mills. I wanted to show you how you can save money on a daily basis. Check out our post and our Facebook page. Every day, we will save you much, much, much money. So always remember, we're number one in the Carolinas and number one in your heart. prices of these things will get you back to the good old boy days where <laughs> cash is king. I told you David yeah, was back. Yeah, I'm back. David's back. All right. <laughs> Had to throw that in there. Now let's get here. Hey everybody. You know, the smartphone is the store experience of the future. One of the reasons we launched this show. So log in to PondSouth.com and let's go pond shopping. And we are back, just like that, Greg. Back already, sound shopping. Here with sound shopping, my favorite episode of the day. I love music, I love musical instruments, and we're gonna bring to you some five today that are really cool. I've got one of my very favorite instruments here. It's on my want list. I will never get it, but it is on my want list. Well, that's like the toys and stuff with us, I mean, the collectibles, but also, I kinda like that violin. I love that violin. I can't wait to show it to y'all. We're not going to start with that, though. Did I let the cat out of the bag? Let the cat out of the well, bag. Let me get the it's, first It's hiding dollar. back there, but we'll get the first one. <laughs> so the first thing we have up today is an electric guitar. 
Nice this item. This is a Fender Stratocaster. Y'all, this is a super nice guitar. If you're a guitar enthusiast, if you're a player, you know that Fenders make great guitars. Mm -hmm. This is in such good shape. The plastic is still on the pick right, guard. The cover still yeah, on it's it. It's just super dynamic. Um, there, scratch a on it. Beautiful, practically new. Um, so y'all know these items that we're bringing to you are used. This is one of those that you cannot tell that it has been used. It's in good shape. Used. Yes. Now we're, we're offering it is used, but guys, it looks brand new. And I hope the shots are giving it detail. There's a good shot over there on the corner. Yeah. But nice shape. And an awesome price on that today, $359.95. Great. I don't know right. if you can get any closer to the main awesome. camera. We don't have a close-up camera like there we do, but y'all can see that a little better. Thirty-two um, seventy-two. Flip it over number. and just let them see the back real quick. And y'all know, um, so with these musical instruments, we're not going to give you that same view from that close-up camera but on our website we have multiple pictures in a gallery of Click each instrument. Click right. on them. We have the back side, the side, anything that comes with it. This does come with the case. Uh, actually a gig bag comes with this one. Mm -hmm. So um, you know you're set to go. This is a good one for you. I have several friends, friends that play guitars. I met with some last night. We played a little music, and um, I'm trying to get a couple of them to buy guitars. So if any of y'all are watching, this might be one for you. All right, let's go on to our next item. Now, I'm really excited about this next item, only because I had never held one. I'd never seen one. I'd seen them on TV. Um, I'd never held one, and I was excited when we got it. I haven't got to play this yet. Um, I think somebody here Don't has let me hit it. Don't Yes, a gray. I have but convinced guys, him to model free. this today, hands free. Well, you can do this what you is, want to do, you know what I mean? You're this is David a, with it. This is a Viper <laughs> electric violin. Um, made but, by you know, Wood, Mark Wood. He came up with this um, this design. This is a Viper. They're very highly sought after right. instruments. The waiting list to get one is long. Um, the prices on these things, y'all, three thousand dollars and more. Right. We have an awesome price on that today, fourteen ninety nine ninety five. Well, well it, you might as well say half price. Well, you might as well. Looked up, so fourteen ninety five. And you know this, the system that he has on this is a floating right. kind of hands free type system. It was designed to make that player be able to, you know, move around freely. If they were on stage performing, they could do other tasks while they're playing. They didn't have to put it down, um, even play another instrument while they're doing it. But it, it has the boat. And it relieves a lot of pressure that you don't have to have that chin rest. So, you right. know, if you play the violin or fiddle, you know, you've got your chin over there on a chin rest and it relieves pressure off your neck. And so it's just an awesome system to have attached to that, but just a cool, cool instrument. I think this is one of the most cool instruments we had. And another unique thing about it, it is fretted. Now fret. this is a five string violin. It does have frets on it all the way up. It's not like your normal violin without the frets, but that just, it is just so cool, y'all. I mean, I just think this is, I got so excited when we brought this in. Freddie brought it in. I was like, oh my gosh, what in the world is that? Let me see it. Um, it does have a case, too. I'm yeah, and it, this that, one does have some minor flaws. Um, there's some finishing cracks on it. So, I mean, I'm looking at one right here, really small. You know, you know what I'm talking about if I say a finishing crack? It's not in the wood itself. It's All in right. that finish that they use to put the finish on the wood. So, you know, it looks like a little crack, but it, again, it's in the finish. So, um, if this is something you're interested in, once again, we do have multiple items in a gallery that you can go to on our website, pondsouth.com. You can search for violin. You can search for Viper. Um, you can just go into the musical instrument tab and scroll through all of our instruments till you find it. But when you do arrive at it, you can take your mouse and hover over each one of those pictures and it Click will on. zoom in on it and give you perfect detail of every every aspect of that instrument. And here's another one of those. You probably can't see it on the camera right. or in the picture that's on the screen, but there is a couple, like I said, finishing cracks here and there um, on this instrument, but still an awesome instrument that you're we're not going to find anywhere. We're going to advertise what it is. We're going, it's a used item. It does have a few little places, but a pretty cool and very unique. I mean, you hadn't seen a lot of these, but yeah. nice with a bag. And that, I think that's one of the most fun things I love about the show is when we come across these so unique items, you All know, right. and, and this is this is where you're going to find it. You're not going to find it anywhere else, folks. So if you're out there and you're looking for that Viper electric Violin, give us a call, 844-641-PON, or you might be someone like me, just a great music enthusiast. You want to have one of every instrument, there you go. There's That's one right. I bet you don't have and you need to add to your collection. Well, guys, somebody's looking for this. It is kind of high-end. This would be somebody who's been playing a while or a performer, jump around the stage. 
but PSN can help you out with that. We are going to find homes for these items. That's what we do. Absolutely, Alan. absolutely. I'm going to jump on Facebook real quick just to see if we have, we have a lot of people watching. So if you're watching right now and you're on Facebook, how about giving me a thumbs up right now? Let me know where you're at, where you're watching from. And then if you are watching, share us on Facebook and get the message out. We want to get as many people watching us as we can. But um, just give me a wave or a happy face, a thumbs up. Give us some interaction so we can help it um, be a little more generated on Facebook. Well, All we, right. want, we want that. Matter of fact, I hope my wife's watching. Today is our anniversary, so I have well, to give a shout out to her. Well, happy anniversary, Gray, and happy anniversary, Miss Kim. I hope 26 you're, years with it, me. Now, she has Not to easy, be, guys. Is she at work today? She is at work. She's I maybe keep watching working. on her phone. But happy anniversary to Kim and Gray. Thank We've you. known them Ever since they got married. Long time. So we've known y'all. We've known y'all that long time. I got married when I was four. I'm only 30. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe yeah. that, right? Yeah. All right, so now we're up to our vinyls. Each um, week we've decided to feature vinyls and sound shopping for y'all. Um, you know, vinyl records have came back. They have, and I saw some the other day. In Walmart, they got That's vinyl right. records. But these are the original ones from way That's back right. in the 70s and the 80s. We have some even older than that and um, back in our room. Rolling there. Stones. So this is a All Rolling Stones goodies. collection. We have Four albums here by the Rolling Stones. Yep. There's another Rolling Stones, but there's the group. But nice out. But vinyl is making a comeback. When you used to say records, a lot of people didn't even know what you meant. That's these right. were the records, you know. And then, you know, on our website, we have each one of these listed separately. You know, if you see one that you you want and you maybe have all the rest of them in the in the set just give us a call and make us an offer that's what oh, we're here yeah. for we want it to be you know a great experience for you but if you if you happen to be a collector of rolling stones and maybe you see this collection and, and you're missing one right. and you see it there give us a call and uh, make us an offer and we'll see what we can do well, for you. Well, all four of I see for that price of $34.95. That's a great price for that is, And that's really shipped is. for mm -hmm. that price. Yep. So give us a call. PSN will help you out. Get Mr. Ethan to give us a close up there. And we do have some good camera work going on today. That's right, Ethan. He's good at that. Yeah. Thirty-four good ninety-five. Look at there. there. I told you he'd do good. There's the other one. But fifty thirty-one is our item number. A little bit of history there. The stones are still going. Mick Jagger just has some issues, but Alma, he's still going to this day. Thirty-four ninety-five. Yeah, Call us eight four four six four one pond. There you go. Item fifty thirty-one, y'all. If that's if you know. You're on the site and you're looking for it. Just punch that number in. All right, now we're up to our fourth item. This is ukulele. A ukulele. I'm glad David didn't say that. I was going to play it. this, but it, it, uh, somebody didn't tune it right, and I was upset. It doesn't. It's supposed to be my dog has fleas. Dog has fleas. <laughs> yeah. I There's heard a certain say that. tune. There's a certain my tune that I learned fleas. how to. There you go. <laughs> Gray can do it. Um, and the fellow that's watching, he's our choir director at church. He's the one who taught me how to. Uh, Tune that ukulele and that tune stays in my head all the time, and I can normally hit it right on target. Well, but it this, works. This it one, works. Um, you know, Four we were strings. told it's um, dated to 1950s era. This is an old one. We were actually told by the person, um, the owner, Mr. Kenny Mars, knows a person who brought this in and said it actually came from Hawaii. So this is an original right. ukulele. We all know that's a Hawaiian instrument. It came straight from Hawaii right here, um, back from the 50s. A really cool go um, vintage look there. You look at that, it's, I mean, even if you don't play and, you, and you're decorating with musical instruments okay. for whatever reason, you might have a man cave yeah, or a she cave or a restaurant or something that yep. you're decorating. This would be a nice piece for that. Great price on that, $79.95. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's a brand on it. I don't, I don't, don't see a it's brand. So old, there's it's nothing probably on there. Worn off, so we'll say no brand. We yeah. want to advertise what it is, but remember old Tiptoe Through the Two Lips by little Tiny Tim? He played the ukulele, so. Yeah, we, we don't need great as playing. Sound. No, I don't play. I'm more of a dancer. <laughs> but yeah, I like the ukulele. I like that uh, somewhere over the rainbow. I love to hear somebody play that on it. That I, would. I, I Seventy-nine ninety-five. There we go. Good deal. All right, let's put that up now. We got one more item for y'all today. A guitar. And this is another a guitar, <laughs> as Gray likes to say. We know he comes straight out the country. <laughs> That's right. Um, I heard Dolly Parton talking the other day, and she said We're about practically the same. just like you, a guitar. <laughs> it was a guitar, and so this is an event, another vintage one. This is early '60s. Um, we're not 100% sure that it's a Winston. We have Winston up there on the screen and listed on our website as a Winston. It has no brand on it, but what we can detect from all the um, characteristics of it and the features of it, it, it is in Winston. Mm -hmm. It is a 
Winston. If you're out there and you're looking at this guitar and you're saying, hey, that's not a Winston, but I know what it is, you know, give us give a us call. Give us a call. Give us a shout Let out. us know and we will um, we'll make that correction, but we can only assume at this point. Right. It does I'm a have little bit of wear. A lot like of wear saying. on this. It's got a broken knob right here, broken volume knob that could be replaced and repaired. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this will be more, I think, of a collector item to hang right. up somewhere, decorate with. Um, just, or just add to your collection. It's a really neat looking guitar. I call them the guitar. whammy bar. It does have that. I do know that. But guys, this is a nice item. One ninety nine ninety five. 3274, but like Alma said, no brand. So, you know, maybe somebody said, hey, man, I know what that is. Give us a call. That's PSN right. Yeah, we'd like that. to know. We'd like to know. But I mean, it's just a cool piece. It's a really cool piece yep. to add to a collection. Missing some stuff, like I said, you know, the shape, but we're trying to represent what it is. But one ninety nine ninety five, and Alma, I heard we may take a little bit less. Yes. Give us a call. Make us an offer. We are all, that's what we're here for, y'all. Uh, give us a call. Make us an offer on anything you see today. That's right. We got operators, not operators, pawnbrokers pawn standing brokers. by. Not an operator. You'll speak to an actual pawnbroker when you call That's in. Right. Nice All right. Service. We're going to um, wrap up this episode, and we've got David and Gray coming right back with Grandma's Buffet. So y'all stick around and have some fun with some trains I think y'all have. Whoop, whoop. And then Chad and I will be back with jewelry at the end. Thank you, and y'all take care. Thank you so much. Hello and welcome to Pond South Bladenboro. We are number one in the Carolinas at deals and cash when you need it. Drop by and see Jacob Higgs and the crew today for hand selected jewelry items, musical instruments, tools, and everything else that you need. And as always, y'all come see us. Hey folks, Kenny here at Pond Shopping Network. Thanks so much for logging in to PondSouth.com and shopping our wide variety and selection of jewelry, musical instruments, and collectibles. So once again, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and let's go pond shopping. I like my hat, dude. I like it, Mr. Conductor. Where are we going today? I'm the engineer. <laughs> are we on Grandma's Buffet with David we and Gray? We are. We're back. Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray. That sounds and like a train, I better David. turn that off a minute so we can talk. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you're into model trains, we need to talk, don't we? Today is your day here on PSN, David. No doubt. We have hundreds of these things. Literally hundreds of HO scale, model trains, parts, everything, uh, buildings. Cars, I uh, was noticing these buildings a while ago, Great. Uh, we bought a ton of this stuff, guys, mm -hmm. and we're putting it out here for sale at, at great prices, but we don't want to try to sell these individual items because there's just too many of them. What we're going to do is we'll let you know how. What you need to do is call the number. You need to talk to someone, tell them what you're looking for, you know, if there's anything you see on here that you're interested in that we're going to show you, That's right. you know, that would be great. But what we're going to do is just kind of give you an overview of the type of pieces we have. As you can see, we set up a little display up here on the front of a train because we've got everything from the engines, the, the box we've cars, the, track, the passenger cars. And this is... Hold Speaking it up, of the track, that's that, I've never seen that. Yeah. Well, David, it's very flexible. If you were making a corner, David's got that bit yeah. like that. I mean, guys, I mean, you can make an S out of it. You put your little tacks you know, in here and the little, the you know, people, make the it people look that good. know about this are sitting back there looking at these guys <laughs> don't know what they're talking about. We don't, but you do. Oh, yeah. Well, and this, three foot long, we've got David, a lot of this track also, guys. You need extra track. Do we have miles of track? I don't know about miles, it's but we've got close. a lot of feet. I well, I saw it a while ago, David. Plenty of it. Plenty of it. We can we can make your collection if you don't have one, and we can add to it if you do have one, guys. That's right. But let, let's just look at a few pieces here and show you how they're boxed. Um, nice stuff here, David. Let's use camera two. Let me get a little shot. And get here. a little shot of that, because that's a that's the way we get them, guys. They're boxed up in the individual boxes. Right. They uh, each car there, has got see it. somewhat of a description on it. I can tell you this was this was purchased originally a long time ago. The ones you're looking at right now are Athern 
Athern, Athern, they're spelled A-T-H-E-A-R-N, Athern train company, and we've got literally hundreds of these cars, guys. David, in great there's the shape. box of it. I'll show that. Let me get it on there. Like a yeah. David said, Athern, I believe that is the way to pronounce it, but David, even the box is in good shape. Yeah, and we've got, we've got other brands while um, they're in the same scale yeah. and everything, but here's one that... Let me hold it. We'll just trade the, out. You hold the that box one. says that these are made by... So it's right there. J another shot of that. JC models, JC model trains, guys. This, uh, now, David, I see that would be the passenger car. See all the windows and stuff? It wouldn't would. be for cargo mm -hmm. and stuff where you'd have your clientele in there and David, they could smoke cigars and have a drink, eat their dinner, but that is actually right. the car. I'm looking one here you can show next. It's actually a traveling it's post office. Up. But David, um, the boxes are, you can tell they've got some age on them. Yeah, but they're, in, they're in good shape. Yeah, That's actually a, a shape. traveling post go. office that traveled the railroad. That's right. U.S. Postal Service. Well, David, some of our that technical was the guys silver. did tell us we're having some technical difficulties, so stay with us here on PSN. I believe we've been dropped a few times on Facebook, but they said stay yeah. with us. We appreciate your loyalty. Right. But don't miss these trains, so hang with us. If we go in and out, we should yeah, come back Yeah, even if on. you get a small portion of it, we'll try to yeah, keep reminding you guys. It'll be fun, whatever we do. We're not selling them individually. We're, we're trying to get you a, uh, an opportunity here to buy whatever you need. Um, we're not going to sell these individually. If you missed it to start with, these you're going to have to call the number and speak with somebody because we got literally hundreds of them. That's hundreds. right. And uh, I mean, just different There's different some more cars of it now, here. David, you can see on the screen, but all kind of good stuff. Yeah, Justin's got us some nice pictures there, there so we go. don't have to take them out of the boxes. But God, give us a call one eight four four six four one pond here on PSN. That's just a small part of this stuff is what you're seeing right mm -hmm. now, but all kind of good. There's a good shot right there. And don't David. forget to tell Gold them David, Southern. David the engineer sent you. Yeah, oh woo woo. I woo -woo. used to have a train. <laughs> Wherever little boy I, did. Did. I believe you did. No, I mean I had a real train. Tracks? Yeah, tracks and trackless tracks. train. That's right. I remember we, that. We'd go out and do birthday parties That's for right. kids and things and, you know, have a ball with it. But uh, I know there's a lot of collectors for these things out there. Guys, I actually live, well, my, my job is actually about 50 feet from a very busy railroad uh, mm -hmm. spur. It runs all the way from Hamlet, North Carolina, down to the state ports, and they're mm -hmm. busy, busy. Oh, yeah. A lot of military David, traffic more shots in there, there, too. Yeah, now, there we go. That would be the engine, right, David? You're the, you're the, the engineer. Well, that's the way I figure when you pick up the box, if it's real heavy, it's an engine. <laughs> <laughs> and some more cargo stuff there, as you see. There would be the passenger car, the gray one. Right. And don't forget the old caboose, David, bringing up the rear. That's right. We've got the cabooses. We got, And also, guys, when you're talking to these folks, if you're into repairing these, we've That's got right. a few boxes I noticed of items that were needing repairs. Um, don't know if you have. Uh, it's all kind of good, isn't it? Don't before. know if you have, you know, an interest in in actually buying these other ones for parts. But you know, I saw a couple of boxes of just parts and things such as that. Right. David, I'm going to get a shot, too, of some yeah. of these buildings. We haven't got any of those. i tell you what I noticed when we were back there. There we go. Somebody there. actually put these things together. Set it back down, and Mr. Ethan will zoom in on that. I guess they were bought in kits, Gray, and you have to were, glue You them put together. it together, David. That was part of it. Mm -hmm. And I've got one over here that I actually think was hand done. Guy just got his own wood and made. Right. Get another a, shot of there. Looks like a... That looks like a feed meal loader. David, it does. A two-story feed meal. Kind of old-timey. If you ever watch Little House on the Prairie and some of those shows, that's the kind of stuff you would see. But now this stuff, mm -hmm. David, you actually put it together, which a lot what of stuff back then. What was the first place then. there you were showing? What is that, a general store? Some kind of store? general store is what well, it's I noticed on they, there. Sell, they sell AC Delco spark plugs in there. And that's all that. But David, that would with, with it, the different the parts of the of track. Very that's detailed. right. Mm -hmm. But everybody loved trains, uh, the, the guys and girls. But they were very popular for Christmas and stuff, the Lionel trains. But, David, that stuff there, a lot of detail, but it was like a little village, and the hours people would spend on it is just mm -hmm. incredible, show even this, adults. This one here is the one I think they started out making. Right, let's show, that'll show the detail and, where somebody had to put quit. that thing yeah, together. Yeah, it didn't finish his roof on that one, but 
That's Get part of it. And we've got that. a lot of these buildings, too, guys. There's a lot of them in there. There you go. Well, guys, uh, it shows the <clears throat> rafters. David, you had to do each rafter. It's like a toothpick. I don't know right. if you can see with my big finger, but this was not I guarantee you, through. Chad the jeweler would probably have to put that together for me. Yeah, but it's almost completed. But that you had to put that stuff together, but that was part of it. Once you got your village built, you'd have the train and just play for hours, David, on these right. sets. Just let them run. Yeah. You know, let them do whatever they need to do. We've got, uh, also with these things, guys, we've got several of the, uh, I guess you call them accessory type pieces. Right, thank you. I think that's too, David, where you would switch the cars and stuff. You would bring this it in there a, and move the cargo. This is a turntable where that's if you've right. got numerous tracks, you guys know what this is. This switches your engine around that's or right. your cars to go to your different trains to line up your cars. Give a um, shot of that too, David. They still, I got the box for that. Well, David, they still use that technology. I got a friend that works in Hamlet, and they still bring the cars in there. It would come on here, and then it would right. go to the different areas to go this way, this way on a track, and you would unload wood or right. whatever it was. Or you can turn around so you can go the other way. That's right. That's right. But a nice little item there. But that's to switch the old track, David. A two scale turntable right. completely turn assembled. Table, that's right. It says it can be motorized also if right. you have the proper accessory to make it motorized. Well, you know, I'll a get front a view of, of that so they'll know there. exactly what they got the there. There is actually what it come in. So we've actually got, like David said, the HO scale, but nice item in the box. So we have the box with that also. But guys, we can't stress enough. Give us a call on these items. It's because we have so much. They'll set the price, make an offer, whatever. We got plenty of it. Give us a call. Here's another one, Gray, that we can show you. This is a pier set where you actually raise the track to cross over. And that was one that would, where this flexible track would come into play with something right. like that. a good shot of that, too. You can set those piers to uh, travel over. Yeah, the piers. Trains go over. They go up and over. But, David, that, that flexible track would work there. And like I said, we had a couple of sections of that. They look about three foot long, so you, you see there mm -hmm. how that train almost made an S through there. But nice item. Okay. Give us a call on well, that. Well, that's the last one we're going to be able to show stuff, today. Look. We got a lot of stuff here. But folks, just remember, give us a call. If you're into trains at all, you need to call. That's because right. we've got your trains. HO scale trains, the buildings. I, there's probably trees and people back there too. I, I don't know, but we probably got it all. A little bit of everything right. here on Grandma's Buffet with David. Well, I enjoyed this. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I, I'm going to get out of my hat and go back to my other one. But stay tuned. We got some uh, jewelry coming up for you. And we'll see you next week. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you, guys. Anna here with Pond South Elizabethtown. Check out and follow our Facebook page. We are posting daily deals that you won't want to miss. We're number one in the Carolinas at Cash and Deals. Stop by and see us. Hey everybody, we're on a shopping spree. We're picking up some of the best deals at our stores to bring to you on our show and our website, PondSouth.com. Now let's go pond shopping. Welcome back to the Jewelers Vault here on Pawn Shopping Network. We hope y'all have enjoyed pawn shopping with us today. We have five more jewelry items for you to pawn mm -hmm. shop with us, and uh, we're going to end the show out with that. It's hard to come up after the train show. Uh, it's hard to follow David and Gray any day. They're just, you know, they're entertaining. What can I say? <laughs> or something. Something. <laughs> we something. don't know. But anyway. Hey, I want to take a second, too, and say... Hey, Lexi, it's my daughter, I love you. She's in Washington, D.C. right now, Hi, getting cool. ready to go on a plane to Amsterdam with Grandma. Wow. And I hope they're safe and have a great time. Yeah, what a cool trip to be taking with your Grandma. I know, she is, she's the world traveler. That is exciting. I'm jealous. I am too, I am too. All right, well, have fun, Lexi. Y'all be safe. All right, we're going to start off. 
People haven't seen these in a long time. This oh, is one of the antique style princess rings. A lot of times you see them going across the finger. This one goes up and down the finger. It's a beautiful, beautiful oh, princess my ring. Jed. I might have to take like this Like that one. one, put that on the list too. Yep, put that 14 on the list. 14 karat white gold. It's a good looking ring. I like white them. You gold, don't see them yep. anymore. Size eight and a half. Just, it's just neat. That it's is really ring. cool. And then this one is, is this actually vintage? It one? is, yes. This is actually. It's one of the old style princess rings. Yeah. And it's a lot of times, a lot of people's grandmas had them even as engagement rings or first time rings that went across the finger. And this one's one of the odd ones that goes down the finger. You don't see them very often. Hmm, I Size like that. And yep. So if my husband's watching, hey, hey, anniversary's coming up. That is beautiful. I like that. Speaking of, Gray's got an anniversary today, right? Yeah, Gray, yeah, he could, he should be shopping for his anniversary today. Yeah, I've got one coming up on June the 11th. So, Kim, if you're watching, you should pick one of these uh, rings out for your anniversary. Gray wants a train for his anniversary. Happy anniversary, Kim. <laughs> All right, that is pretty, really pretty. Yeah, buy him one of those little trains. That's a great price, too. And get him one of David's hats, too. They can be, <laughs> they can be like the Goofy Twins. All right, y'all, there you go. 14 karat white gold, beautiful ring, beautiful mm -hmm. vintage size eight princess and a half diamond and ring. I can size it to whatever. I like that. I think I'm It's, it's pretty neat. I didn't have to put other rings on. Yep. I'd be leaving that on today. It might go home with me. Let's try to get somebody engaged today. <laughs> All right. Engagement set right yep. here, fellas. If Got you're thinking about it, here, oh, this is beautiful. Yep. I don't know if I can do this justice showing this. Uh, I hope we have some good pictures. That is, I like this that This one's three-quarter carat total weight. It's a matching set, wow. matching band, matching engagement right. ring. It's 14 karat white gold. Um, just pretty ring. It's, it's, it's like an invisible set center. It means all the stones are kind of put together where they look like one bigger one. We'll head over to camera two here and let Ethan mm -hmm. get us a good place up. I'm going to see, see if, there. Yeah. I don't know how close he can get in on that. I'd love him to get in a little closer on that setting. He's going to give me a hold on a minute. I guess he's coming back, yeah. but then he's trying something else out. I'll just... Uh, Turn that up there so y'all can see that. It's a size seven right now too. And that was one of those that I can size, but can't go down too far on it, but I can size it up quite a bit. As that you can is see really there. Really pretty. Yeah, it's a good looking ring. It's it pretty is. Now the picture that's in the corner of the screen, it, it it shows it pretty good. And again, on our website, we will have my hand just a shake in there. Mm -hmm. On our website, we, we actually have this ring on a rotating um, pedestal so you can see it all the way around so that that is a beautiful i love that setting that's really pretty yeah, 559.95 very pretty very very pretty i like that a lot all right let's mm, like that <laughs> time to get engaged folks. Like so we're going from rings to a necklace the necklace now this one right here this is a strand of freshwater pearls it's got a 14 karat yellow gold clasp on it uh freshwater meaning it comes from not salt water, <laughs> but it comes from a mollusk instead of an oyster. I don't know how to class that. It's a. Ooh, I did it wrong, didn't I? Elm is having I'm, I'm, yeah, class, having class species. Yes. This one. Well, first you have to start off from the beginning to go in the right section. Yeah, so I put it in the wrong section. Yes. And then it just kind of goes in and snaps together. Okay. See, very pretty. see, when you know what you're doing, yeah, and I don't, it looks I pretty easy. I'm very <laughs> amateur when it comes to jewelry. All right, we'll see. It's got a nice little filigree yellow gold here. clasp on it, and they're gray in, in tone, um, and that's dyed to get that color. A lot of times when you see colored pearls like that, a lot of times they are dyed. And again, this is one of those items that I think we have some really good pictures on the website. Mm -hmm. So if you go on in here, you can uh, pull that item up by the item number or just mm -hmm. put pearl necklace in, take your mouse, hover over the picture, and it will magnify it, you know, it's 18, you can see the yeah, detail. They're 18 inches overall. And um, let me take a quick look on there. I think okay. they're, these are, they're knotted in between each one, just like expensive pearls are. So mm -hmm. even even the pearl, the string, you know, so it means if it breaks, you just lose one, which is, is pretty good. And really pretty, y'all. Yeah. Most places charge three to four dollars an inch just to string them. So, you know, times eighteen, you know, you're getting there. Yeah. Good looking little strand pearls, and you got graduations coming up, and and pearls oh, yeah. look good for church day, dressing up, and even you know a lot of people wear them just casual because pearls. I don't own a pearl good. necklace, so. A lot of people, go, there's a lot of people like pearls. Pearls, a... pearls is pretty neat. Yeah. All right, then we're going to go on to the man's one carat channel wow. set band. Wow. And it's all yellow gold. It's nice and substantial. Size 11, 999.95, folks. That's a good deal. 
I don't think we saw. I don't think I said how much the pearls were, which they saw it on there. It was like ninety nine bucks, folks. Right. That's pretty good. Ninety nine for the pearls. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Yep. Um, pop back on their website. Throwing some more nines onto it now, but we've got the nice gents ring here. Channel set diamond bands, meaning it's set down below the surface of the gold. You got um, just straight up diamonds going across, just nice and worry free, size eleven, and it's it's a pretty nice substantial ring. It's not cheap at all. That is a nice ring. It really is. I mean, you can tell when you just feel it and slide it on. I love those channel set diamonds. They just don't get in your way, man. No promise your... to pick. Yeah. And, and remember, Father's Day is coming up. Yes, it and is. And it makes a nice wedding band also. There you go. I mean, it's, it's kind of a nice ring to wear, nice wedding band. It's one of those, a lot of times people can't get a man to wear a nice diamond ring, but this one's pretty, pretty simple. Yeah, so, that one's very pretty yep, and simple. It looks good. All right, y'all, that's item 4187, $999.95. We'll take a minute to just tell y'all if you're watching on Facebook. I see a, a couple people watching. Or give us a shout-out. Just let us know um, where you're watching at, who you're watching for. You know, if you're watching to see me, if you're watching to see Chad, <laughs> you're just pawn shopping, we want you to uh, let us know what you're doing here today. Mm -hmm. um, share our feed on your Facebook page. And um, also, you can, you can find us on YouTube. There's several ways to watch us. You can go on our PondSouth.com website, click um, Watch Show Now, and you can click on there and see all the episodes and mm -hmm. watch us. You can go back. This is our eighth show. Wow. And technically nine if you count our premiere show. Mm -hmm. So um, there's several episodes that you can go back through. But each week we bring to you 25 um, new items, mm -hmm. and, and, and we're going to present them to you in a couple different shows. So y'all just go on there, take a look at what we've already had on, go to our website now. All of our, all of our items are actually on the website now. So after Sorry. the shows, we add them to the website. So the website's really growing now. There's, there's quite a few items on there. So go on there and go shopping. And, yes. and again, you know, if you buy something and you're not happy with it, 30-day money-back guarantee. Yep. So and, yeah. what else can you ask for? And Chad here, you know, he's really good at... Um, Repairing jewelry, if you have jewelry that um, you might want to get rid of and we want to buy that from you, especially if you have some older vintage pieces. And, uh, you know, some people buy them just for the setting. If you have a nice yep. setting, then Chad can put a nice stone in it. And if you have something that's missing a stone or you want to change the stones out on it, you know, give us a call. We'll hook you up with Chad and see what we can do for you. So. That's right. We want to buy it even though it looks like there's no hope for it. Sometimes there is. Yeah, sometimes there really is. So don't, you know, don't automatically assume that. Just let us take a look at it. And we buy broken jewelry and scrap and stuff like that, too. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're here to buy precious metals. That's what we love. That's right. All right, let's go the to last the item last here. item of today. We'll hand that one off to you right there. Good-looking yellow gold oval citrine. Um, a lot of people use citrine for their birthstone for November, which is really a, a yellow topaz, but the citrine works just as well. It's got got a little more of a orangey, like a rust color to it, more than what the topaz does. And this one right here, got little diamonds on the side. It's a size ten and a half. We've got some big rings today, but we can size it down to fit you. One eighty nine ninety five, and it's just really it's just a pretty mount. It's kind of an open filigree look there. Ten carat, got got a diamond on each side. So it's nice, you know, it looked good with an amethyst, a blue topaz, whatever. If you if you wanted a different stone, the the, the mounting itself is, is nice and especially for one eighty nine ninety five. That is pretty. Now, is that a particular birthstone for any month? Not really. Eh. November. November. Yep. Is that what you said already? Well yep. And I wasn't listening. I'm she sorry. was she was thinking about the trains. I was daydreaming. <laughs> I was no, daydreaming. If it was Alma, she was thinking about guitars. <laughs> I was thinking about the musical instruments. I'm still figuring out how I can buy that electric violin. Yeah. So anyway, we can size it down from 10 and a half to whatever, size it up to whatever you need, put it in a nice box, send it to you. If you don't like it, send it back. You know, hey, if we could get 1,400 people to watch the show at one time, maybe those 1,400 people would be nice enough to give me a dollar and I could get the electric violin. See, yeah. there you go. Well, That's anyway, folks, we're going to be back next time. Yep. We'll be back next week at noon right here. Y'all come back and join us and uh, let's keep pawn shopping. Let's, let's go. Take care. Thanks.